Hello. In this video we are going to send data from React.js to Laravel server with Google reCAPTCHA validation. We broke down the whole process into four simple steps. All the command line instructions and link of the source code is given in the description. So let's start. In the first step we need to get API key and secret for using reCAPTCHA. Give the label any name you want. Then select reCAPTCHA v2. As we are testing it in local environment so, set domain name to localhost. Accept the terms of service then hit submit. In the second step we need to create our React and Laravel app. We also need to install some additional package for React and Laravel. For React we will install React Google reCAPTCHA, React Router DOM and Axios package. For Laravel we need to include Guzzle HTTP package. We will use npm and Composer to install React and Laravel's package. The command required for installing those package are given in the description. So let's install those package. Beside installing packages I did some additional things. I create a controller to handle all my request. For the Laravel backend app I add an exception and verify CSRF token middleware file for post data without CFRS token. I also add some extra header and bootstrap slash app.php files to handle CORS error. In the front end React app I implement routing to travel through different URL. I also created a global config file which I can include to any file later. I created two component for home and add user URL. Now let's add route for add user to database in Laravel. In the front end React app we are going to add some code and add user component. At the top we import reCAPTCHA and our global config file. We define initial data which will be later configured and send to the back end for create user. We define two state object one for data and other for errors. We change the value of data object every time someone change the value of email and name input. If there is any errors in the back end we change the value of errors object.
Once someone clicked the add user button we post data to backend through Oxios. Once data sent in the backend at first we validate the data by Laravel validator. Then we validate the recapture by sending HTTP POST request to Google with our recapture API secret. If everything turns right we add the user into the database. Now let's start both our front-end and back-end application and check if everything is okay.